Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another movie review on 20th Century Fox's Deadpool. Yes, it is very late for this review to get posted. This is the third weekend in. So, thank you for watching uh, three weeks late with this movie review. I'm going to just go into spoilers, no non-spoiler section of this review. I've seen the movie twice. I saw it on opening night. Uh, right before I got on the plane to go to New York Toy Fair, and then shortly, just a couple hours after arriving at New York, I saw it again with JC and Pixel Dan. I had a great time watching it both times. I was very tired both times, and I'll be seeing it again tonight, and uh, I might see it in 3D tonight, because the first two times I did not see it in 3D, so I'm kind of curious to see what the 3D experience might be like, or I may not, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go into spoilers, um, and I'm going to talk about my dislikes right off the bat. Um, one thing I kind of feel sorry about is that I don't think this movie's for kids. Uh, I know there's a lot of kids that like Deadpool, but this is definitely, you know... I don't know, teenagers is okay, I think. I don't know, I don't have any kids or anything, but if I had teenagers, I wouldn't really be that worried about it, because it's just, it's just gruesome, and, and I don't know, all, all the reasons why movies are rated R, that's, this falls under that umbrella. Uh, I was thinking to myself, this movie is rated R for all, for all the right reasons. Ah, I screwed up my own quote, but it, it is rated R for all the right reasons. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So, dislikes, all right, and I had to dig here. Dislike number one, uh, Colossus. I had a problem with Colossus never being in human form. He should have been in human form at least once during the movie. Preferably, when he's in the X-Mansion, he should have been in human form. Uh, is that really that big of a complaint? No, it's not. Like I said, I had to dig, but... At some point, we should have seen a transformation. That would have been really cool. Especially because that was my favorite cinematic Colossus. I loved how he was gigantic, huge in stature, and um, and, the, and the fight scenes with him were great and everything. So I, I just wish that, you know, he we saw him transform. Especially when he's eating the bowl of cereal in the X-Mansion. He's got the giant arm. I was like, oh, come on, man. I wish they had him in human form, you know? But, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I didn't really have a problem with him. My, my friend, the Ice Cat, was saying, like, oh, yeah, dude, he, he was, like, too much of a, of a pushover or whatever. In the movie. I don't know. I, I liked the contrast with him and Deadpool. Um, another thing is, uh, is that Vanessa lives at the end. I wanted her to die. I, I thought that she should have died. I don't know. Like, I just feel a little, uh, I don't know, a little unsettled about... Deadpool having a happy ending for his movie. I felt like it should have gone a different direction. However, I will say that I was very happy. Like at the end of the movie, I was like still fe feeling very, very happy. Uh, the ending credits were great and stuff, and um, and that's gonna actually lead to uh, you know some of my my favorite parts in the movie. Me talking about this positive side because I know everybody loved this movie. Everybody, it's like it's broken all kinds of records and stuff. It just the the public. Uh, the, the, the public outcry of joy about this movie is just insane. And I felt it too, man. I loved it. So, um, but my favorite part, or if you're to ask me what my favorite part was, it's hard for me to say, but I'm, I'm going to say I think the part that I laughed the hardest was uh, Deadpool getting caught alone <laughs> when we accidentally see him alone with the unicorn. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? That I was just so... From out of left field and um, caught me off guard and it was hilarious. I just thought it was just so funny. Uh, I was dying in laughter. I, I thought that was great. And then they bring it back at the end <laughs> during the credits and everything. Um, I, I thought I, I thought the, the opening credits was the best opening credits I have ever seen. I mean, first off, the whole thing with the titles and the names. But the part that really got me, the part that hit me so hard was this dude oh, the 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 taint in the face man that was hilarious oh my god dude you cannot come back from that if you have a man's everything right there in your face you are done you can't show your face around and hey, you gotta move to another country man you gotta go everyone's gonna wait isn't that the guy who had his whole face I mean I thought that was hilarious, uh, and I don't know, <laughs> it was just all up in there. And the way the camera pans away from it, too, you know, because it's all in slow motion, and you got that song going and everything, and, and, and you kind of don't know what you're looking at, you know, <laughs> and then when you figure it out, you're like, oh, man, I, I thought that was hilarious. So, 
you know, the dirtiest jokes were my favorite jokes throughout the whole movie. Um, I felt like this movie spoke to me in a lot of ways. I just really loved how I felt like we were on the same page, like with the writers. And great script, man. Fantastic script. I have to say, I just really liked how the whole movie was put together. You know, doing the whole flashback thing was really well done. Uh, the origin story was not boring. Um, I really liked Wade Wilson, you know, like, y you really... I don't know, because like, we see him as Deadpool in the beginning of the movie, and then we go back to Wade, so it just creates a curiosity to see what this guy was like before he was wearing the costume, and he's not that different. I thought that was great. He, he really wasn't that different. I thought that was awesome. I, I really liked that part of it. Um, I liked the amount of jokes that we got into this movie, and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds was just fantastic. He, he did a great job. I, I just thought he, he killed it. He... The whole performance, the, the the marketing, the theatrics coming up to it, and all that stuff, it, just great, man. And I thought his acting was really good too. Um, like, and I also liked. It didn't, I didn't feel like the jokes were being forced too much, and I liked that I had to see it a second time because there's actually sometimes I laughed through other jokes. You know, the pacing of the movie was really solid. Uh, I thought I thought the cast worked really well together and everything. Um, and then the way the movie was rated R, this movie needed to be rated R. This movie was rated R for all of the right reasons. It just hit everything that I wanted to see. We get all the violence, but there wasn't too much violence where it just felt like it was a, a slaughter fest, you know what I mean? Um, it was, it, it, you, you got the Chimbomba Rasadas showing in there, I'm always happy to see that, you know? And, but it wasn't like the movie was just entertaining me. See, that's why I don't like Game of Thrones, man. Game of Thrones... It, this is, I explained it to a co-worker of mine over at Guitar Center, I was like, look, I don't like it because the only time I'm entertained with Game of Thrones is when they got the violence and the chichas, and I can get my vi my real violence on the internet if I want, and I can get my real chichas on the, on the internet that I want, you know, so it's like, why watch a whole TV show that I'm not really interested in the story so much and just waiting for the chichas and the violence, you know? This movie had chichas and violence, but it wasn't about the chichas and the violence. It was just, it was like one of the building blocks that made this whole thing cool, you know? So that's why I say it's definitely, and, and all the cussing was, you know, it, it, it was like real people talking to each other and everything like that. I thought the guy who played the bartender was great. Um, you know, the, the copy of Vanessa was awesome. I, I loved all the acting through and through. Um, and then the, <clears throat> and then the fighting was great too. I love, I love the fight sequences. I love how we see Deadpool just move around. He does a lot of those spins and everything like that. Uh, I love that they incorporate humor into his fighting style too, you know, like you see in the trailer with that bullet that goes through three of them, or you see him get shot right up the culo and everything, and it's just, I love how they incorporate, it's like everything mixed well together, like I said, it was rated R for all the right reasons, it was just all just well put together, it was just a masterpiece of a movie, I think, I, I thought they did a great job, a masterpiece of a superhero movie. Because that, it, it acknowledges itself as so, and if you're in the mindset of that, then you're really going to enjoy it a lot. Again, I thought the acting was fantastic, I loved the script, so there's some really smart things about this movie. Uh, just the last thing I'm going to talk about is Ryan Reynolds, when they tell him that he's diagnosed with cancer, I felt it. I hella felt it, dude. Actually, I choked up and the wife started weeping a little bit. Because the, the, the whole thing where he said that, I was... It was like I was looking at her for the last time, or the first time, you know? And he didn't make that face that I hate that Ryan Reynolds makes. He made it, like, a lot during the Green Lantern movie, which is that... That, oh, that doughy thing. And he did not do that. He did not do that. Thank you, Ryan Reynolds, for not doing that. Um, so... Great movie. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna watch it again. I mean, what else can you say? Everybody recommends the movie. Everybody's very happy with the movie. Do you honestly, let me know in the comments below, do you honestly know anybody who did not like this movie? Really? Somebody who really didn't like the movie? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the subscribe button down there and uh, check the annotation for uh, one of my other videos. I should have one up right over there. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!